Though it makes him sad to see the way we live, he'll always say, I forgive. I forgive. Hi, guys, welcome back to Tina's sewing class. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about safety on the sewing machine. Very important. I know we're not there yet, but these are pointers that you need to bear in mind as we go ahead. So as your level of sewing increases, sewing safety will be more second nature. Until then, keep these safety tips in mind. Learning to sew involves learning how to use the sewing machine, the needles, pins and scissors carefully. They're sharp and each can cause problem if not used appropriately. Using sewing scissors carefully. You will be using scissors from the beginning. However, I would not use the super sharp sewing scissors until around the age 12, 13. So those of you moms who have kids in teaching them to sew, I want you to give them the basic scissors, the paper cutting scissors, right? And put scissors away after you use them. Keep them away from the little ones. This will keep them in better use and discard someone in the house, mistaking them for common scissors to cut paper or other projects, all right? Now we're gonna move on to Pinning, so using pins, right? Be careful not to stick your fingers with the pins when sewing. If you drop your needle or pin, be sure to pick them up as they do not get stepped on. You don't want it so they do not get stepped on. You don't want someone stepping on them, they hurt. I can tell you, happened to me dozens of times, guys. Uh, you know what, a magnetic pin cushion works great for this. Holding it in one hand, you can just uh, sweep the sewing pins up. It's magnetic, so it will grab and connect to the magnet. Always take the pins out when you're sewing though. This is not only dangerous, but it's not good for the sewing machine needle or the needle um, plate. So bear that in mind. And as we go, guys, I'll be you know repeating these to you and showing them to you as well all right um i'd like for you to take a look at this piece of object i'd also like for you to take a look at the um, seam ripper the seam ripper can be dangerous the point is sharp see that sharp edge if not used carefully, you can hurt yourself. Always be careful when ripping out seams with it. Be sure to rip seams away from you. So you push it under like that and you push it away from you. So you, you don't mistakenly jab yourself with the, the point of that, all right? So another thing you gotta be careful with is your rotary cutter. Uh, when using a rotary cutter, make sure you close the blade before you set it down. Do not allow young children to use the rotary cutter. It's very sharp, it's circular as you can see, and it's sharp all the way around, guys. So be sure to close it before, see how sharp that is? one sharp that can take off a finger. So you wanna make sure you close it and then you lay it down, put it in your sewing kit so no one can mistake it or especially, you know, children love to explore and they grab at anything. So you wanna make sure. Another thing I want you guys to bear in mind is to watch your head while you're sewing. Don't keep it down in the machine like that 
hold it at a proper distance where you can actually see what you're doing correctly. Make sure your seams are straight as you go on the machine. And also, also your hands, when you're sewing, you don't wanna have your hands too close to the needle or the presser foot because that is dangerous as well. You can run your finger in. So you wanna keep your hand on the fabric and you guide it as it goes along like so, but never in the front of it, just on the side of the um, fabric to guide it under the machine. Now, more safety tip for you guys. Having good light and taking your time when sewing are good tips. That will actually help your project be successful as well. Happy sewing and see you on lesson two. He's still working on me to make me what I ought to be. It took him just a day to make the moon and sun, all of the earth and Jupiter and Mars. Oh, patient he must be. He's still working on me and you.